Hi, this is Hike to Strawberry Lake Bigfoot Expedition Part 2 in Everett, Michigan on 7 1922. The odd things they take. I'll put a link to Part 1 in the description below. Everett, Michigan is just north of Big Rapids and east of Reed City. Home to Strawberry Lake and lots and lots of state land. Alrighty, in this video we'll be starting off at the blue X and be going towards the yellow X on the map. Now you keep your eyes peeled for the arboreal snakes that'll be hanging from some of these trees over the water around here. Hey, you could fish this. I don't know if you get tied up in that seaweed looking stuff or not. No, not if I use the copper. Uh, that's the sticky stuff out here. And this is the other side of Whitmore Pond. And this is the smaller island out here also. And you can probably fish this. Stick things increase as we get closer to my old encounter site. That's where we're headed is to Strawberry Lake and uh, the swamp behind it where the logging incident took place. Tried a few things, find a few things along the way. You can see how young this woods is. When I was a kid, I was all tore down. Look at this. <laughs> Now 
There's that little dock thing I told you about. So I'm gonna make a little campsite to hike back to out here. They tried to be able to cast out beyond the lily pads. This is that spot I told you about right up here. This is all beaver damage. Mm Thanks, I gotta edit that out. What is that? It's a little pond over there. This is all the beaver damage. See all the, all the trees are all chewed on the bottom? Yeah. Those are all the ones they fell. just see video breakdown on where to watch uh, subjects are right here in the red circle I'll provide you with a uh, slow motion video clip all the way through this and keep your eye on that area there I'm pointing over to where the beaver damage is over there all the trees are down Here's some enhanced stills of subjects are in red. Zoom in here a little bit. And you can see there's a face there. That's the subject a little bit clear. And in green is something I'm gonna get into here. It's holding something. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna take a guess. Um, this is another subject zoomed in possibly. These stills are in sequence and not zoomed in. Now this all happened when I turned around to say something to Dango about these trees. And I get a feeling that they're following us. Their area that they're at is darker and without any detail than any other part of the woods and all these little trees. And they really kind of stand out. I didn't catch it with my eye. But the most important thing is the odd thing that they seem to be holding. I'll get into that here. Okay, this is the subject zoomed in quite a bit to where there's almost no detail. Um, and red is the object they're holding. You can just barely make it out. Red face, eyes, nose, and forehead, and the fingers and hands. So, is this possibly a trail cam being held up by the subject? And here's why I think it might be. Okay, this clip will show you uh, exactly what I found in Everett, Michigan on 7-12-22. While I was hiking, I came across this trail cam and I left it there. It was poorly set up with a bungee cord and a stick as you see here. I don't use bungee cords. It was on with a bungee cord, a bungee cord like this. My cams go on with two Master Lock Python 5 cents cable locks just like this. Now I have a lot of different trail cams and they all open in different ways to get to the batteries or program them. Now if they were playing around with this camera and they turned it upside down it might look something like this. Maybe. Alrighty then so why do I think this object that's so blurry here is a trail cam? Well for one I'm not really moving here in it fades into the background right there it moved that's another thing to point out and there's an incident with my lost camera in Barry County Michigan on 919 let me show you that this is visit number one on 9621 in Barry County Michigan state game area okay so I'm in these woods here and I'm following the same path that Mike and I took to set up our tents back in uh, Back in 1977 when we had that encounter there. And I come out and 
I'm not sure what I'm looking at right here, but I think it's something. I make a noise to see if I can get his attention. I don't approach it. I don't know why. I just kind of leave it alone. But right behind there in those tall pines there is where we set up our, uh, our tent way back when. And I'll let you know what I'm looking at here in just a second. Uh, here's a few video stills of what I saw and let me tell you I lost this camera here a couple of years before this and what I think I'm looking at is a juvenile Sasquatch right there holding my camera up pointing it at me the one I lost you can even see the fingers on the camera there's an even a little bit of detail of arms and hands behind that it's incredible well, when I got home and saw this video, I was pretty surprised to see that because my eyes weren't really picking it up all that well. I thought there was something there, obviously. And I had to go back the next day to make sure before I made up my mind because that sure looked like my camera. This is visit number two the very next day on 9-7-21 in Berry County, Michigan, state game area. Stand it right. Here. So I don't see anything that looks like a trail camera down here. I do see some twigs and branches. Looks like a camera. It's just me, guys. Return the second day, there's no camera. Top, first visit, 9621. You can see a camera there in the circle, bottom. Second visit, 9721, no camera. Here's some stills coming up closer. There's no camera, but I'm telling you, there's something else cloaking right there in front of me in that bush. And there's a face, there's a nose, there's eyes, but there's a snout. I don't know what to think about this. Uh, it actually started moving back and you can hear it in the video move backwards. So there's something there. But no camera, I looked for it. I thought maybe they dropped it and there were some pictures on it or something interesting like that. But nope, they wanted it for themselves. All right, there you go. You can think what you want of that, but uh, objects like that, just don't naturally appear in the woods, floating around, disappearing quite like that. And uh, you're dealing with cloak and Sasquatch, who knows what's out there. And them taking cameras, you bet they would. It's cool, they're going to take it apart and try to see what it is, they're intelligent. And now back to the part two hike to Strawberry Lake. Oh yeah, that's why I went over there. Is that the waterfall here? Yeah, it's up a little ways, but we got an uh, inlet that goes through here. We got to find a way across. And oh, there's a log I used before. Either that or I went all the way around. Or I jumped across. Oh, dude. When I came up on this creek, there was bass in it last time. This little teeny thing. Yes. Go 
guess not so much now. <laughs> I don't even have to go all the way around. Yeah, there's more water here than there was last year. I jumped across this last year. Right there, but I don't think I can make it now. It's about a foot too deep. Or a mastodon. <laughs> I wouldn't try to cross it. It's easier just to walk around. Yeah, I just got to make it over to here and it's clear. See how all the bottoms of the trees are all gnawed? You're not going to really try that, are you? Beaver done. How would they ever see him out during the day though? 
Almost there. <laughs> Stay tuned for part three. I'll be going over the logging equipment encounter at the very spot it happened with details. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel. Appreciate it.